In this series, we'll be constructing Ash's ultimate team if he was a champion specialising in one specific type of Pokemon, using Pokemon that Ash has caught or bonded with in the past. If you want to check out the previous episodes in this series, click the playlist in the video description and the pinned comment. So now, in this video, we'll investigate what if Ash was a grass type champion. Remember, these are just my opinions. It's perfectly fine if you don't agree. Be sure to let me know the team that you'd give Ash in the comments below. And also, be sure to join our community Discord server. We're at almost 600 members, and that is honestly insane. So, without further ado, let's hop straight into the team. The first spot of Ash's ultimate grass type team goes to Ash's Bulbasaur. It's canon that Bulbasaur doesn't want to evolve, so I don't want to force him to. Bulbasaur is strong enough on his own. Not only is he the leader of literally hundreds of Pokemon at Professor Oak's lab, but he's also performed incredibly well in so many battles. He defeated Brandon's Dusclops, who was powerful enough to defeat Ash's Charizard just before. And then he defeated Brandon's Solrock too. He also defeated Vincent's shiny Magneton, who had already defeated Cyndaquil and Pikachu, and then he defeated Vincent's Meganium too. For such a small Pokemon, Bulbasaur has immense power and immense authority. And truthfully, who is better to lead Ash's ultimate grass type team than the leader of literally all of Ash's Pokemon? The second team member will be Ash's Serperia. That's right, we're evolving Snivy all the way up into Serperia. Snivy was done dirty in her series. She was set up to be an incredibly powerful and skilled Pokemon to the point that everyone thought she would be Ash's ace of the series. She even abandoned her previous trainers because they weren't good enough for her. But then after Ash caught her, she never evolved and she never even learned any new moves. We all know that Snivy has the potential to be incredibly strong. She has an awesome move set, including Attract and Leaf Storm, and she's generally super competitive. If Ash evolved her into a Serperia, she'd be even speedier and even stronger. He could even teach her moves like Aqua Tail to counter Fire types and Iron Tail to counter Ice types, both of which could do a lot of damage to a Grass type team. Snivy deserved to evolve and will make it happen. The third spot on Ash's Ultimate Grass type team goes to Ash's Rowlet. Once again, this is another Pokemon that we won't be evolving, mainly because it chose to swallow an Everstone, twice. So it clearly does not want to evolve. We all know that Rowlet wasn't the strongest Pokemon ever for half of Sun and Moon, but then after meeting Hao and his Dartrex, Rowlet became much more focused on training and battling. And it paid off, because Rowlet defeated Ryuki's Dradigan and Zwilus, Hao's Decidui, even though I really, really, really dislike that battle, but anyway. And even Professor Kukui's Bravery, who had just defeated Lycanroc. When Rowlet sets its mind to a battle and doesn't fall asleep, it is incredibly powerful, so I think it could be an awesome team member. Also, having a Pokemon with air mobility like Rowlet does could be critical, since the rest of the team members are limited to the ground. Unless, of course, Bulbasaur used his vines like he's a member of the Survey Corps. I can honestly see that in my head. Bulbasaur zooming around the battlefield using his vines like his name is Levi Ackerman. The next member of Ash's team will be Ash's Torterra. Torterra lost a lot of battles, but every time he lost, it was against a really strong opponent. Bertha's Hippowdon, Volkner's Electivire, Paul's Drapion. So I don't think that makes Torterra weak. I just think it shows how strong his opponents are. If Torterra got more time to train to be mobile in his new bigger body, then I think he could be one of Ash's strongest. This team really needs a tanky and defensive Pokemon, and Torterra fits that perfectly. His ground typing can protect the team against dangerous fire types and dangerous poison types. Maybe Ash could even teach Torterra Stealth Rock to further protect the team against fire types and flying types too. And let's not forget that Torterra has that awesome improvised move where he literally eats an energy ball and then becomes super powered. Imagine that at full strength. The fifth member of the team is Ash's Mega Sceptile. We're mega evolving Sceptile and turning him into a grass and dragon type. I know this could make ice types even more problematic than they already are, but I think it's worth it. Sceptile is powerful enough as it is. It was the first Pokemon ever to defeat Tobias's Darkrai. So now imagine if it Mega Revolved. It would be unstoppable. Mega Sceptile's speed alone would make it a tough foe for any opponent, especially if it keeps the agility move. He's going to be zooming around like Sonic. 
and maybe Ash could even teach Sceptile different moves to counter flying types and ice types. And let's be honest, we all knew there would never be a grass type team without the Ace of Hoenn on it. The sixth and final member of the team was an incredibly tough decision, but in the end, I chose Ash's Livani. I genuinely think Livani is incredibly underrated. His energy ball and X scissor have been shown to pack a real punch. And unlike in the games, Livani's string shot is genuinely monumental in his battle style. Livani excels at wrapping opponents up in webs and string shots, and then dealing heavy hits while they're immobilized. So imagine if Ash also taught Livani sticky web, so that every new Pokemon entering the battle gets wrapped up in more webs. Maybe Ash could even teach Livani electro web too, since he's a pro at using it well with Pikachu. It would cover Livani's major flying type weakness, and it's another web based move. Livani's gonna have a battlefield of webs and string shots. Any opponent he faces will have no chance. They're gonna be immobilized before they can even move. Simply put, Livani is gonna dominate. And if we look at Livani's history in the anime, he has some really great wins against Pokemon with type advantages including two of Burr's Bug-type Pokemon and Roxy's Windstreak Coughing. He has the Swarm ability too, that'll make his Bug-type moves even stronger. And finally, but definitely most importantly, Livani loves to make clothes out of leaves, so he can make awesome battle outfits for all of Ash's team members. So, overall, if Ash was a Grass-type champion, I believe his ultimate team would be Bulbasaur, Serperia, Rowlet, Torterra, Megaceptile, and Levani. It broke my heart not to include Bayleaf or Meganium, but sadly, I just feel like the other team members had more to offer. But hey, looking on the bright side, if Bayleaf isn't battling, then she can be stood by Ash's side cheering on the team. I'm sure Bayleaf would prefer to be beside Ash anyway. To test how strong this team is, I asked two of my friends, Gree and Albab, who play Pokemon competitively, to briefly evaluate the team in terms of game logic, to see if it's as viable in the games as it is in the anime. And this is what they said. Livani in the games is incredibly weak due to its bad typing, bad offenses, and merely decent speed, but it could use Sticky Web to benefit the entire team. Bulbasaur would just be incredibly annoying to go up against if it uses Leech Seed, Toxic, Sleep Powder, etc, but he's not very strong outside of that. Rowlet can't really offer much at all. Torterra is tanky, his ground typing could be helpful against Fire and Poison types, and Stealth Rock could come in handy too. Superior is super powerful, especially if her ability is Contrary because pairing Contrary with Leaf Storm would cause Superior's special attack to increase every time she uses Leaf Storm, and that stacks up real fast. Mega Sceptile would dominate in terms of speed, and it can keep Flying types and Ice types in check with Rock Slide and Focus Blast respectively, although it could go down very fast against Ice types. Also, its Lightning Rod ability is kind of useless in a Grass team. Overall, this team has absolutely overwhelming weaknesses to ice types and flying types, and it really does not have too many counters for them. The team is hyper offensive, so its defensive integrity is really lacking. The team just really isn't very strong in the games. So there we have it. In terms of anime logic, I'm definitely happy with the team that I constructed, but game logic wise, maybe it's not the greatest team in the world. Okay, yeah, let's just admit it, it kind of sucks in the games. But hey, the anime is what really counts, right? Let me know what Pokemon you would put on Ash's Ultimate Grass type team in the comments below, and also let me know what type you want me to cover next. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe too if you enjoyed, and don't forget to join our community discord server using the link in the video description. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you all in the next one.